you get used to having that stuff on. <laughs> a quick message before we start the project. I wanted to say that I am honored to be working with Area Clothing. I am wearing one of their shirts now. Thank you very much. They are so comfortable and so high quality. Thank you, Ariat. I will link everything in the video description to get to their website and uh, check it out for yourself. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Let's get to the project. Hey everyone and thanks for tuning in and watching that brief intro. Today I have a piece of cedar that was sent to me by uh, Tim Ashley over at Tim Ashley Woodworks. I will link all his info in the description below. He does have a YouTube channel that you should check out and Instagram, Facebook and all that good stuff. So definitely check him out. He was kind enough to send me this piece of cedar and uh, we're going to see what kind of bowl we can make out of it. So just getting it round, uh, cutting out on the bandsaw there, as you saw, uh, drilling a hole for the woodworm screw. And I will be putting the worm screw in the four jaw chuck and uh, starting to, to true this one up and start to make a bowl. Getting the tool rest set at the height that I need it. Making sure the blank doesn't hit it. Always be sure to, uh, to turn it before you turn it on just to make sure. I'm starting at around 650 RPMs here and with the cotter and sun bowl gouge. Just taking my time making it uh, round it doesn't get perfectly round on the bandsaw. Plus I'm taking my time to enjoy the smell of the cedar. I don't get a lot of cedar, um, but Tim over at uh, Tim Ashley Woodworks, as I mentioned, has sent me a couple pieces. So thank you, Tim. And I always enjoy turning it. And hope that I do it justice. I, I feel like you can't really mess it up too much because it's, it's such beautiful grain no matter what shape you make it. As usual, I'm going to link all the tools and products I used in the video description if you want to check them out. These are tools and products that I use all the time like Carter and Sun Bowl Gouge. Uh, robust tool rest, uh, Starbond CA glues that I have a new discount code for, as well as Total Boat, which I, I'm not using in this video, but uh, I do have a new discount code for PF Wood Turning viewers, so be sure to check out the video description. I uh, switched over to the skew chisel here to flatten out what will be the bottom and start to make the, the marks for the foot, uh, which is going to be a recess or mortise. Trying to make it pretty simple here because I want the cedar um, to, to really be its own art form, so to speak. It doesn't need a fancy foot or anything. Back to the bowl gouge and making the curve around the side, making sure the mortise is deep enough and back to the, to the side to get it to the shape that I want. It's 
stopping in between to check it out and making sure there's a flat part on the bottom uh, for the foot to sit properly. Super genius! So after it's reversed in the chuck, uh, using the bowl gouge to flatten off the top and get a smooth surface before starting uh, to hollow it. So I was smart this time about saving some of the cedar shavings. Um, I did save some uh, in order to use in a future project, whether that's with resin. Um, so if you guys have any ideas for a project that I could use those uh, shavings uh, with or for, let me know down in the comments. Um, I'm still deciding what to do. So, Using some Starbond CA glue in medium to fill in these cracks. There are a few cracks, nothing major. Uh, they didn't go all the way through. Uh, so just making sure that enough CA glue gets down in there to, to make sure it doesn't continue cracking or fly off the lathe on me. So just some CA glue and some accelerator. And I sanded that off or turned some of it off even and then get back to turning. Continuing the hollowing process. At this point, I'm still deciding what to do with the rim. Uh, not sure if I'm going to make it flat or curved, uh, skinny or thick. Just kind of going with the flow and see what happens. Just taking my time with the bowl gouge to uh, get the round over on the inside, making sure that I don't get any catches. Yes, even if you've turned a while, it's still possible to get catches, um, although much less often uh, than beginners, I think, but uh, it happens. It happens when you're not paying enough attention or um, your mind wanders. If that has ever happened to anyone, let me know. Make sure I'm not the only one. But we didn't get any catches here. I was paying full attention as I did not want to ruin this, this blank that uh, Tim so kindly gave me. The shavings are coming off everywhere. So I sanded from 80 to uh, 400 grit. You can see the bucket of shavings in the background that I've already started uh, to save there. So I did a little bit of power sanding too. Wiping off the piece before applying some denatured alcohol to get the rest of the dust and debris off and also to get a peek at the grain and oh my gosh, look at that figure. Now on with the sanding sealer. I put one coat of sanding sealer on and it is a mixture of 60% sealer and 40% denatured alcohol. I get a lot of questions uh, as to what kind of sealer I use. I use the Zinsers brand, which I will link in the video description. You can pick it up at uh, Home Depot. I'm sure it's available at other places. That just happens to be where I get it. So 
announcement about the Axe uh, coupon code. New code, PF15. This is the only place where you can get 15% off your Axe products. Linked in the video description, you can go over to axewoodpaste.com, use PF15 at checkout, and get 15% off your first order. Thank you, Axe. First step uh, in the X uh, products for me is to put on the abrasive paste and it already makes a huge difference and my favorite part is the polishing paste though because it just it's so easy and it, it makes such a difference when you don't think it can look any better then you try this and it, and it makes it a really nice sheen so don't forget about the coupon code PF15 at axwoodpaste.com. Taking it off uh, the lathe, I'm going to give the camera a little close up here. But don't go anywhere because I do have some uh, photos at the end, which I are close ups and you can get a better idea of what it looks like. I do end up putting my um, branding iron logo uh, on it as well, which you see here in a minute in one of the photos. I love the light and the dark and the pinks and the reds and the yellows. There's the logo, PF Wood Turning. This bowl will be available on Etsy if you want to check it out. Until next week, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.